chat up on my phone. Like I always forget to do. The twatch chat. Twatch. Twatch. So I said something earlier and Jero said like, oh, I wanted to say like, I didn't know if it was pronounced a hoge or a hooge. For like, <laughs> a, a, a hair sticking out. So he, he said it sounded like I said a hooch. And then he <laughs> said gazoon tight. <laughs> I was like, that sounds terrible. A hooch. <laughs> there's a server I'm in where there's, there's an Ahoke emote. Oh, oh, they got rid of it. Oh, Aww. sad boy days. It was really stupid. Leave it was server. literally just. <laughs> it, it was literally just like Hajime's, um, like, Ahoge in, uh -huh. from Dragon Rumpa 2. I can imagine well what that, emo what that um, emote looks like. It's just like a zoom in on his hair. <laughs> on that one part. What are the odds that the code would be 666? Real questions. That would be the Damien game, where we both go after <laughs> Damien and then fight each both, other. Both go after Damien and then you and then you fight each other for Damien and then Damien ends up fighting you at prom. Yes. It's the 10 out of 10 match. Also remember to wait till I'm done loading. Yes. Friggin the graffiti that says butts. <laughs> uh. The wizard of the wizard of Oz. The wizard of Shadow Boy. Wait, I'm gonna name him Wiz. <laughs> when you don't use the keyboard to type. <laughs> Wiz is a good name for him. Wiz. Dash A R D of Oz. Takes another bite of macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and we. I'm a stable living adult, I swear. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Ooh. I don't even want to read that one. You want to read that one? <laughs> if you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? No one can make me fuck an animal. If I fucked an animal, it'd be of my own free will. As a matter of fact, I already have fucked an animal, so the joke's on you, pal. A purebred horse. At least I can keep his semen and sell it. It's worth a lot. Oh my <laughs> said god. There was no silver lining to bestiality. Oh my god. A dolphin. They're the only other animal that fucks just for pleasure, so at least we can both do our best to have a good time, right? Oh my god. <laughs> These are all awful answers. I mean, that's the point of the stupidest pop quiz, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. I, I know what I'm going for. I'm just gonna choose a random one. A purebred horse. <laughs> the money. I want money. Sweet, oh, the curse. Money. Oh, the curse one. Ah. I know it was a panther. There's something you need to know. Who doesn't love love panthers? Radiation. I'm gonna go with the panther. I I'm not gonna I, I don't even care which one I'm gonna choose. But I guess you're gonna cut and go for for blobbery. Yeah. Blobby boy. I read this as something simple and friendly like blobby. 
<laughs> you, block, you have to choose it now. <laughs> Friggin... You know what? Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going. I'm not gonna go for Damien, but I'm just gonna do that. Some money. Loading screen. Oh shoot, I hope we don't disconnect. Oh no. Ooh, hold up. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. is it? I still see a loading screen. Dude. Yo, wait, wait, do the wait. Okay, there's- okay, loading screen over. Good? Yeah, it's good, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not good. Oh, oop. You know what this means? <laughs> It means oof, and we have to restart. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Sad boy days. Oh! Yep, yeah, there it goes! Yep. <laughs> At least Just I can try this. to choose a money option this time. Good. Do that. I also need money. <laughs> three, two, three! Oh, wow, wait. Okay, funny thing is, I put in 666 just for fun, and someone actually had a, a match oh with gosh. the ID of 666. Because it actually joined me into someone's game. I was like, oh shoot, I shouldn't be here. Were they like, whoa? Hey, <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I yeeted out of there. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe computer's gonna handle it better. Good news is I finished my mac and cheese. That was fast. <laughs> I was really hungry, I barely ate anything. Jokes on you, I had a cup of mac and cheese. I <laughs> I win. I don't Jeez. actually win. I probably have the short end of the stick. Sweet! Sure thing. Or should I say the short end of the nail? Oof. Sensitive topic. Let's go. Two spoons. <laughs> Two spoon? <laughs> Endless spoon. Forever spoon. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, let's see if we. Let's hope we don't get the sex question. Yeah, that would be nice. Ooh, this is my favorite! <laughs> oh, the spirit emoji! <laughs> Stereotypes. Oh. <laughs> Snowman, because the mother is in the middle of a blizzard and he's smiling. He doesn't give a about blizzards and he has a kick ass hat. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you choose the snowman? <laughs> hey! Will one of these give me money? One dollar uh... bills, and I'll include a picture of me in the inscription Beware, the too much awesomeness. My presidency might last a day, but my fame will last forever. Hmm. I don't think any of these actually give you money. I wish. Uh... Taxes. <laughs> taxes. Appealing. I love partner. A very a secondary big... personality! A big... Horn. Horn. Quiet eyes. I'm gonna do soft fur because Barrow. <laughs> Barrow. <laughs> Who doesn't love partying? That the real answer is Sundari person. Right. The real answer. Big answer. Now to wait to see if I can go gather some. Okay, so you need, like, okay, okay, yeah, it loaded, like, instantly this time. Okay. Get, get that, get that poker money. Yay, poker! Okay, so you need like 12 money. I need 10. 
hopefully the coven is, or the, the coven, or space prince, or the hunter, or at lunch, with the money option. Yeah. We need money. See hordes of your classmates running away from Vera and Scott, they're all screaming SPOILERS! It's an Arkin. Oh, yeah. He's the entire horde. <laughs> he, is, he is the horde. Have you seen the latest episode of Detective Where Weasel? Where Weasel finally exposed the cartel's entire operation. Awesome, bro. I did. It was so exciting. I peed on Grandma's carpet. <laughs> Not bad. I know, right? And the cartel's organizational structure is so cool. I took so many notes. <laughs> but last night was the last episode. I was so sad. I peed on Grandma's carpet. <laughs> our own TV show when we get better than Were Weasel. Better than Were Weasel? Is that even possible? For the perfect team, I have money and you're the gullible target audience. <laughs> Gorgona Film Studios requires your ideas. Scott Gorgona Film Studios. We'll talk about that later. Right now, I need ideas. The Mafia threatens to close his gym, and ugly ass Nosferatu <laughs> is exposed to Syndicate to save the only place that lets him do his reps. Nosferatu. <laughs> Nosferatu. Chilly 1985, when. What is that? Pinochet? Pinochet? Floods the market and with black cocaine, a courageous drug dealer because of private eye to blackmail Pinochet and save her, her coke labs. <laughs> Oof. Oof. It doesn't really matter which one of these I really choose. I don't want to lose. Yeah, same. We just need money. <laughs> Give us money. Get it wrong and lose money. Oh no. Uh. Cool. Oh. Hey. His gym. How could they do that to him? Nosferatu's across the globe are struggling to get swole. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that is a sensitive issue for your demographic? Gym is always a sensitive issue. Good, I can sell the shit out of sensitive. <laughs> Finally, the world will understand the struggles of buff Nosferatu's everywhere. Hooray! Vera writes a pilot, hires vampire bodybuilder Vlad the Jim Paler to be the <laughs> leading role. Vlad the Jim Paler. Money! Money! Time is money! Let's go. Ah. Uh. I also need money, but I can't get money, so I'm gonna go have fun. Yay, raving! So if there's... There's a, one of the fun options at lunch, let you have that. Okay. Later that day, you're out shopping with Vera and Polly when a WILD COCKATRICE APPEARS! It gallops through the mall, biting shoppers with its jagged beak and turning them to stone. Scott and Damien come chasing after it, holding a butterfly net in a frilly dress. This isn't our fault! We had nothing to do with this! Ugh, another mythical creature crisis, just when I'm starting to enjoy my shopping. Aw, oh, but it's so cute, I bet the vicious chicken dragon really knows how to party. <laughs> Scott and Damien see everyone looking at them and wisely hide inside the clothing rack. I accidentally clicked, but I don't care. Mmm, Cinnabons. Ignore it, befriend it with a delicious Cinnabon. Hmm. Ignore it. You sigh, roll your eyes, and go back to your shopping. That's right, don't give it any attention. Attention is what it wants. The cockatrice kills 47 people and grievously wounds dozens more. A woman's child is turned to stone before her very eyes, Jesus. Jeez. For the rest of her life, she will visit her child's contorted statue every day to touch his tiny hand and weep. Meanwhile, you get a nice scarf for 50% off. Awesome. <laughs> You gain two bonus and one money! Yay! Money! Money! Random! Yeah. Main character plays that was That was a sad day. Alright! Oh, there's Space Prince. Oh, Space Prince. Let's see. You can, you can have the chance of money. I'll let you do You're space prints. Okay. And then I'll steal the library again. Because I just need two more money. Uh, I don't know which one. Your 
have at your chosen table to find Vera looking askance at Miranda's lunch. A single, very suspicious looking apple. Oh, it's the apple. It's the poison apple. The apple of poison. Ugh. It's, de de it's deadly. It like it's a perfectly it's a perfect standard, standard poison <laughs> apple. <laughs> Poison, 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 poison. Did we mention Seven. poison? Feminism. Feminism, that's always the answer. Poison and feminism. Princess should be eating poison apples so that you'll kiss them. You don't need to eat the apple. There are plenty of eligible princes on hotprincefinder.com. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think you I don't think we've read out the uh, princess should be eating poison apples. Or what? do you want to talk to Miranda more? <laughs> Hmm. Your questions. What do you choose? What did I choose last time? Again? Uh, I think I was choosing last time because it was because oh, I was yeah. going for Miranda last, and I it was the hot prince finder. So poison apples eating. Yes. Marvelous idea. If the princes are asleep, I shall be able to assess them fully before making a selection. Uh, Time to think of it, I suppose this is why the princess prefers sleeping damsels to begin with. Oof. True. God, royal marriages, the whole thing is like a fucking meat market. My kingdom, it's more of a fish market. <laughs> <laughs> the smile on Miranda's face. <laughs> She's too innocent. In any case, you two have truly opened my eyes. I should be sending poison apples to all nearby princes forthwith. Miranda gets to work poisoning all her suitors. Vera is very impressed with your enlightened opinions on gender and poison. Let's go. It'd be funny if, like, one of the li one of the lines after that was Damien falls over. <laughs> that would be great. France. Hear a thud from Damien. <laughs> You're just about to take a bite of your sandwich when some douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of space and reality. You're right. My love. It is I, the interdimensional prince. It is I, Pro-ZD. <laughs> True. I've searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving the most fiendish riddle for me. The riddle of... How to get my TV to switch from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2. <laughs> I've tried everything short of actually using the remote control. That's too relatable. Yup, big mood. You heave a deep sigh and accompany the prince to his dimension, where you solve his problem by using the remote control. You truly are both wise and generous. As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Perhaps laser communion might interest you, or reverse baptism, or eggs. Eggs? <laughs> oh, hi, princess! <laughs> princess, this isn't the stream for you. <laughs> the choice is yours. <laughs> Fuck that, let's make up our own ritual. How about the ritual where you give me a pile of money and go away? Money, I need money, money. money, money. <laughs> oh, you mean the right of poor physical decision making. I didn't know you were so well versed. This isn't the stream for you. <laughs> not a, not a good stream to join. I'm so well versed in the ways of my people. Of course, I'd be glad to demonstrate. The prince dresses up in a golden onesie and hires a chorus of monks to chant. Why are you doing this? Why are you While he hands doing you this? a huge sack of cash. <laughs> the exchange rate of interdimensional dollars to actual money isn't hey. that great. Maybe because he keeps doing this, but you still gain four money. More money. Bye, princess. Bye, princess. Love you too. Love you. <laughs> I don't want to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> this makes ev this makes all the uncomfortable. This game definitely makes some people uncomfortable. Indeed. It's like uh, uh, I have enough I have enough money to get the thing, so I won't take library from you. Show me them. Hello. You're out there trying to romance a classmate or something. Anyway, welcome. Give me, give me this. I need mm -hmm. this. Okay, bye. Nice. I need death totem of death. Killing people's money doesn't sound nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? <laughs> Yay for losing karma. Hey. You look up to see Scott approaching Vera. He looks confused. This isn't unusual for Scott, but you decide to eat his <laughs> job anyway. Hey Vera, you're mean, right? 
Aw, oh, you noticed. <laughs> and you're a girl, right? Aw, oh, you noticed. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> Well, I was watching this high school movie the other day, and there were these mean girls, and the mean girls were... Mean? Cheerleaders! Now I know you're not interested in being a cheerleader. But maybe you could do something to help the football team. I mean, according to the movie, high school athletes and high school mean girls are natural allies, right? <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, you do have a point. I suppose you have some idea of what I should do. I like how she's blushing. Well, uh, I don't really do ideas, but I'm sure Wiz ha here has a great idea. Tell her! I'm a whiz at this. <laughs> Good one. They both look at you. Well, what's your idea? I like Scott's clueless face. It's great. We're good cheerleaders. We need fear leaders. Instead of pumping our team up, they'll make the other team feel like shit. Can we just stop having our players assassinated for no reason? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even think I could pass. Uh, I don't know. I think the first one is bold. Hmm. I think, I, but the second one sounds kind of like bold as well. It'd be funny if the second one was smart. Oh wait, I read that wrong. Yeah, uh, maybe the first one. Oh, oh sad no! Days. I hope I don't lose money! <laughs> you excited to pull out your notebook and show her your fear leader concept art! Oh, fear leaders, I like the idea. But wait, why does this uniform have cutaway for boobs? And why is this model having sex with a teddy bear? Aw, oh, I think it looks nice! Thank you, Scott. Oh. Scott, we didn't ask for your opinion. I tried really hard on that fan art. Nice, this is not the point, Scott. We're supposed to be dismantling the opposing team's psyche, not treating them to weird furry sex. I like how it still gets a Vera heart. That's what you get for well, you didn't lose money. evolutionary cheerleading ideas in the same notebook as your erotic fanfic. <laughs> Yay, no loss of money. Yay. It really doesn't matter what happens here. <laughs> that was not a deep. All right. I should talk crap about you. Okay. <laughs> there you are, minding your own business and a sp spying on your classmates' way when suddenly... Hey, Wiz, you're sort of a loser sometimes, right? Um, sure. You know, hang out with other losers like Elizabeth, right? Oof. Because Elizabeth is a total loser. Well, I happen to Oof. maybe be developing feelings for Oh. I can't explain it. She's nowhere near as attractive or wealthy or ruthless as I am. And yet I find myself so explicably, inexplicably drawn to her. I think it's her eyes. It's like there's real depth there, like she's hiding some sort of secret. That's really heartwarming, to be honest. But do you think I'm it reading, is something like, wonderful or totally the lame? The secret behind Elizabeth's eyes is the secret. That book has changed her life, and her business sense and self-confidence is on point. The secret, the secret of communism! <laughs> Doesn't believe in ownership of material goods or individual entrepreneurship of any kind. Insert the USSR anthem here. What? This is outrageous. No, no, this can't be possible. Nowadays, no one is a true communist anymore. It has to be just a phase. I mean, we live in a world where people buy t-shirts of communist heroes. It's all ironic. Yeah, it has to be ironic. He's playing an angle. And I can't let her, my guard down now. Now on each time I talk to Elizabeth, the part of me will be secretly scrutinizing her in search of any proof of her hidden communism. I'd like to, I'd, I'd like to mention that in the background there's a freaking four floor gym. <laughs> <laughs> like, why does the gym need that many floors? No one in it. Yeah, with no one in it either. <laughs> Sucks to suck, Elizabeth. <laughs> Ooh. She shouldn't have stolen your lunch when you were third grade. Wow. I mean, we're both really greedy for money. <laughs> you right. Sure, that's a long time to hold a grudge, but it isn't every day you have the chance to bluff about someone's political agenda. <laughs> the important thing is you gain one fun, YOLO. Unless you're a lich. <laughs> oh my god. Oh hey, I'm the protagonist now. Joke's on you. Ah, uh, what? 
I have no money! Just go somewhere for a nice uh, event. Gonna go to the gym. Epic dodgeball match! Yay! Wee! Cutar! Cutar! Wee! <laughs> Later, you're strutting your stuff with your new totem when it attracts some wanted attention. What a cute little dark deity totem you're rocking! <laughs> Oh, it's so teeny and sweet compared to the dark gods of the ocean, poor helpless little totem. <laughs> sure. Blood gushes forth from the totem's eyes, streaking its face with a sinister red. Oh no! It's hungry, poor little guy! <coughs> Is that a kitty patootie? Are you hungry, wonky? <laughs> the totem's mouth stretches open farther than it physically should be able to, and a swarm of locusts bursts forth. We need to find a yummy for a semi-sacrifice, no princesses though, I'm sure that's not what it wants anyway. The totem burns fiery hot and icy cold at the same time. Aw, better find a great sacrifice for the whittled deity. And it makes the gals ha so happy too. Start a giant sacrificial bonfire of weed! <laughs> Be self-sacrificing, sacrifice yourself. Oof. This is boldness and I have a lot of boldness. Yes. I can tell that this- Oh, what?! What?! Excuse? Are you kidding me? Hmm. Is it because you're trying to impress them, I guess? I guess. It's kind of a stretch, though. <laughs> Dick move, developer. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I, I didn't have enough stats for both of those, so... Uh, it would've been nice if it was bold, though. <laughs> it would've been real nice. Oh my gosh, you're going to sacrifice yourself, my hero! Yeah, not gonna lie, that's kind of hot! The totem glows fiery red in eager anticipation of your blood sacrifice. You casually chop off your own limbs! Heck yeah, hardcore! The totem stares at your limbs, unmoving. Your weak little limbs do nothing for the power of a dark deity. If the totem had a nose, it would be turning it up at you, metaphorically speaking. Um... Puffy Miranda! Aww. Uh, I did a bad. Awkward. Deeply ashamed, you have the girls gather up your severed limbs and carry them to Nerf Chupacabras. She manages to put you back together pretty easily, but the Dark Deity Totem is pissed. You lose two fun and one charm. I like how it makes Sad sense for day. you that they could put you together. Yeah. <laughs> Just coincidentally. <laughs> well, I messed up. Rip. Spend it here first. It's just called being smart. Uh, I choo choo choose you. Yeah, who would want to save money for their college fund when you can spend it on weird stuff that's most likely useless? That's the spirit. For me, she just said, "Have a good one." <laughs> just really short <laughs> and to the point. Oh hey, look! I'm going first again. We lunch, food. I need stats. Oh, ah. Dog, you gotta help us! We're suffocating! It's like we're not getting enough air! We can hardly talk! <laughs> ah, you see the problem. You remind them that in addition to breathing out, they also need to breathe in. Oh, whoa, that works way better. I have no idea how we forgot about that! You're idiots. Yeah, you don't either. What are they gonna unlock a route? Thanks for saving our lives, dog. We owe you one, and we'll pay you back. Right now, what do you want? We'll do literally anything. Teach me calculus! <laughs> Give me an extreme makeover! Extreme makeover. An extreme makeover? Extreme. Like, an extreme makeover? Are you sure? You nod, because apparently this is what you want from a pack of idiot dogmen. <laughs> Alright boys, you know what that means. Time for uh, time for one of our patented extreme spa treatments! Suddenly extreme. you're surrounded by wolves, covering your face with their wide, moist tongues. <laughs> you can feel your pores really opening up beneath a relentless torrent of dog saliva and unconditional love. When the wolf pack finally gets bored of licking you, you're positively glowing! You gain four charm. Alright. Yay. Oh, I got licked by a bunch of wolves. Oh, she's in her cute outfit. Ah, the cute outfit. You know, the 
honestly, I'm looking disgruntled, which is his default, so whatever. But it seems like Miranda's pretty upset too. Better check it out. Liam, why are you typing on your phone so angrily? Did your phone offend you in some way? Why are you mad at it? You seem to be an 8.5 on the frowny Liam scale. The what? The frowny Liam scale. Normally I can tell how people are feeling from their faces, but you seem to be frowning most of the time, so I created a chart to measure your frowniness. Mood. Miranda pulls out a notepad and displays a series of doodles of Liam's frowniness. They're not super accurate, but they are super adorable. Oh I'm not gosh, angry man. at my phone. My so-called frowniness is caused by a heinous error. I specifically asked that my creature creme brulee be extra crispy so it truly popped with my hashtag massacre Instagram filter. Instead, they burnt it to a crisp, rendering it unphotographable. Blah, blah, blah. Monsters deserve to know what they're getting into if, to ch if they choose to eat at this cafeteria so they can choose to take their business to a different establishment. And so I'm writing a scathing Yelp review. A scathing. 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 Ah, I keep hitting buttons. Ma'am, oh, you can't do that. If they shut the cafeteria down, the school kitchen staff will lose their jobs. Did you know that peasants have to do labor to make living wages? They don't simply have an unlimited stores of gold. I was shocked when I first found out. Of course you were. The kitchen staff wanted to earn their wages. They should have been better at their jobs. I'm simply the merchant of truth. No, you're the merchant of poop! <laughs> Your royal sophistication shines through. Look, ask Wiz. His taste may, may tend toward the mainstream, but surely he can see a super subpar cafe cafeteria must be exposed. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Wiz is surely more compassionate than that. Would gladly help me save the cafeteria. Again. A again. <laughs> Gosh, it's hard to keep track of your misadventures at the shit show of a school. Still, you'll help if you can. Miranda can't undermine Liam's admittedly talented criticism alone. This will take an army of homeless people we pay to write positive Yelp reviews of the cafeteria until we eclipse Liam's. Oof. Liam, one lone voice, simply cannot shut down the cafeteria, at least not the voice of a high schooler. Let's get a renowned food critic to write a Pulitzer-worthy expose to be published in the most widely read periodicals. Miranda. 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 Why, of course, this plan involves two of my most favorite strategies. Gathering an army and outsourcing work to be disfranchised. If it involved torture and suppression of dissidents, it, dissidents, it would hit all of my favorites, but there might still be time for that later. Uh, uh, I don't even have a response to this. You had a little vast homeless population who wander the woods near the school, don't ask, and convince that the cafeteria is a trendy new restaurant that sells food for the most valuable currency of all. Positive Yelp reviews! Turns out people are pretty gullible when they're starving, so they flock to the cafeteria in droves and start writing spectacular reviews on their phones. Because now homeless people have phones of their own? It seems they kept all the unwanted blackberries. Remember blackberries? Yeah, me neither. Miranda Vanderbilt, says Principal Giant Spider, bursting into the cafeteria with eight-legged panache. Stop Pancake. bringing droves of homeless people into our cafeteria! But Principal Giant Spider was absolutely vital to the vitality of the school. He said that the last five times, you can't solve all your problems by manipulating homeless people. Notorious PGS storms out, but Miranda looks perfectly chipper. Oh, he may pretend to be upset, but I think the subtext was pretty clear. Thank you, Miranda and Wiz, for saving the entire school like the beautiful heroes you are. That's 100% a lie, but Miranda called you beautiful. Aww. It's a win. I like, how, I like how Liam just doesn't care. He's just kind of standing <laughs> there. Yeah. Time to waddle around the school a bit. All right. Time to randomly get more money. Money! Just in case you need it. Yeah. Gotta get all those bitcoins. Bitcoins. Dramatization. Two million dollars. Eh, uh, two boss dollars. You're going through the set of oddly specific greeting cards you probably purchased with your hard-earned plus money when suddenly... Anyways, it's me, Blobbert! <laughs> Blobby! 
<laughs> Blobby boy. <laughs> Sweet blob, son. Aw, you love Blobber, and it's by far your least murderous or manipulative classmate. You're right. Right. Wowie, are those greeting cards? Gosh, I just love greeting cards, and those sure looks like some oddly specific ones. <laughs> Which are my absolute favorite type. I think you can solve just about anything with the right greeting card. Oh, hi, Polly. Hi, Scott. It's me, Blobber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Blobber, my favorite little mush. I love you so much. What's that you have with you? Hi, Blobber, my bestest buddy. <laughs> Blobber's just the best, dude. Look at look at him. <laughs> it's definitely not the corpse of our former classmates. <laughs> look at that Blobby boy. Blessed Blobby boy. And even if it were, they definitely would not have had it in a Prank Masters related accident. I've died. Oof. Blah, blah. So we were just going to take this sack of potatoes? Yeah, good. Sack of potatoes. And flush it down the toilet. Or put it in the trash incinerator. <laughs> or chop them up and put them in a potato salad in the cafeteria. Scott, <laughs> no, it's not actually potatoes, remember? <laughs> Oh, did you hear that? I I didn't. <laughs> Blubber was like, "Wowie!" <laughs> that sounded adorable. I heard it on stream. <laughs> All of that sure is a lot. It's at that moment that Pretzel Giant Spider walks in and sees the four of you, five of you, if you include the corpse, which is 100% not a corpse and probably did die in a prank master's related accident. <laughs> I cannot read apparently. It's okay. I, I didn't read that correct corpse. at all. It, it's not a corpse. It is definitely not a corpse. <laughs> Everyone freezes. No one knows what to do except you, of course. Look at Blubber's face. <laughs> Wowie! <laughs> wow. After all, Blubber just said it. Everything can be solved with greeting cards, so naturally you. Hand the corpse a card that says, Sorry you died in an accident. We had 100% nothing to do with frowny face. Here's a little giant spider card that says "World's Sexiest Eight-Legged Principal." Okay, that, I have the charm. the charm. No! Oh, I had to be more charming. Wait, what? You got it. Huh? You got it for me. What? It said I didn't on my end. I think it said not so mm. charming. Yeah, I, I see that on stream. What? Oh my gosh. Confusion. You hand the card to Principal Giant Spider. Immediately, the entire room goes silent. Dude, are you hitting on Principal Giant Spider? Okay, now now it changed. He's, Blubbert was saying something, but the text on your screen was different. Uh, and now it's back to its normal thing. Uh, <laughs> Even more technically overage, isn't it still kind of inappropriate? Principal Giant Spider replies, It is my beloved students, but not beloved in that way. Oh. Also, was if it wasn't... If, if, if it wasn't, I'm not into you. I love you as a student, but as an individual, I find you unattractive and uninteresting. <laughs> Wowie, that no, hurt even to me. Oh, Blobbert's icon is just like, well. <laughs> well, PGS, hashtag sorry, not sorry. Am I right? Principal Burn. Hmm, and they always say we should be influenced by our teachers, so we should be influenced by Principal's lack of attraction to Wiz? Oh. Maybe for once we should, Scott. Blobbert is not giving... Give in detention because it's a precious angel. <laughs> you right? And Principal Giant Spider knows it would never partake in anything mean spirited. So, like, I guess Principal Giant Spider was distracted enough that your friends got away with murder, so that's good. Damn, rejected by the school's principal. That's a new level of embarrassment, and your prize for achieving it is minus two fun and minus one charm. Well, you didn't lose too much. Uh, I guess I really need to go get some freaking. <laughs> gonna have some fun. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Casually chatting with Juan the small magical Latino cat, and you start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one. The one involving the beehives, the blow-up doll of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear your story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, was 100 people or so burst into hysterical laughter. <laughs> you turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into two fun. Wish that's how it worked. Indeed. Later, you, Polly, and Miranda are watching your adorable little dark deity totem melt the faces off passerby when... Thank you, you found the totem. Hand it over, quickly. Oh, dudes, chill out for a second. 
Whatever seems to be the matter, we're off to have a lovely picnic with our dearest totem friend, little bud buddy. Your totem is Zgord, ruler of the Dark Realms. An, age, an agent of destruction. You must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Um, rude? Very rude. Truly, though. What have you ever done to dis <laughs> What have you ever done to earn our friendship? This totem has been there for us whenever we needed it. Yeah, when I ran out of coke, little buddy made sure a dealer dropped dead in the club with full pockets so I could have as much as I wanted. Polly's pissed. <laughs> When a suitor brought me the wrong flowers, little buddy made his eyes and teeth melt out of his face. Uh, teeth melting is just not a thought that I want to <laughs> see. The totem purrs happily, which sounds like the shrieking of a thousand cows dying of famine. <laughs> uh. Literally every time I think you guys can't get make worse choices, you somehow make worse choices. The covenant prepares to attack. This sight set on your precious totem. You better think fast. Swallow the totem whole and keep it safe in your belly. Use sleight of hand to make the totem disappear. Hmm. Hmm. I think first. I also think first. Good. <laughs> Thinking quickly, you all, you all but unhinge your jaw and swallow the totem. Damn, and I thought I could swallow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Polly! Poor confused Miranda. So confused. Miranda's like, eh? <laughs> Don't worry about it, hon. How? Why? Why would you do this? <laughs> you just saw the dark deity. How do you not understand the repercussions? <laughs> um, did you not hear the part where the totem makes lots of cool shit happen for us? Why would we give that up? For the fate of the world! Hmm. The three of you exchange glances. Nah. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a good reason. You are truly- oh shoot, that's the coven signal, we're needed elsewhere. Okay, bye. With that, they disappear. Well, that was easy. You're safe, little buddy. It's okay to come out now. The dark deity totem floats up your throat and out of your mouth. <laughs> it hovers in the air for a moment, glowing sinisterly before falling back into your hand. How is it so cute? The totem lives another day, possibly to destroy the world. Yay! You gain two creativity and one boldness. Well, that worked, kinda. Oh, something happened to me. Here we freaking go. I hope it's blobber. <laughs> you're having an evening tea at a nice place Aww. when you start feeling sleepy. Next thing you know, you're waking up in an abandoned warehouse. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this isn't what I expected. This is also not what I expected. Oh my god. Finally! Hello? It took you almost two hours to recover consciousness. Rude much? Anyway, let's do this quickly. I have someone else to drug and kidnap at nine. You're here tonight because I might or might not be starting to have feelings for Wiz! But why'd you kidnap me? <laughs> my feelings are dumb and blind and flighty and dumb. And I won't let my feelings lead me into a life I end up regretting. Thing is, I'm fabulous, so of course I've created a specific list of features I expect in a love partner. You know, to guarantee I don't end up murdering them out of boredom and contempt. And you know, what I appreciate in people, ambition and direction. I want someone that's thinking beyond just where they want to go this summer. I want someone with a plan so we can both be fabulous and conquer life in our own fierce ways. So tell me, would, would you describe Wiz as an ambitious person who has planned an amazing future for himself? Yeah, Wiz had his entire life planned out in a set of color-coded Mandela folders, including all potential scenarios, tons of charts, and even some thoughts on how his lineage could continue his master plan. Sure, you know how Wiz works at a burger joint on the weekends? According to his plan, 20 years from now, he might become the manager! Also, he has very serious plans to become Platinum and FOF by next year! Same. Hmm... <laughs> Since none of us are going- are going to actually do anything remotely useful. <laughs> yes. She's had her heart- She's had, like, her heart, like, distrust people twice now. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna! Oh my gosh. Great. That really sounds like a plan. Becoming the manager of a burger joint. Pinnacle of a winner's life, a mediocre salary, and free burgers, everything a girl could dream of. 
I can't wait for 20 years of helping him get there. Oh no, sorry, I meant I can totally wait. Oof. And you know what? While waiting for that, I can do something productive. Like, look for another potential love partner. What with ambitions that can be defined with the other words other than sad and pathetic? Oof. Look at me, dreaming big. Bye. There it is. <laughs> you guess 20 years from now and Wiz finally gets to be the manager of that burger joint, you won't get any free burgers from him. Meh, still worth it. You gain one charm. Big oofs. Very big oofs. I really need some stats. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go have more fun. Uh, that day during reset, you start a half hour rave. Everything, oh, everything is fine until Juan, the small magical Latino cat, asks what you th think you're doing. Damn, you didn't remember you suck at dancing. But you decide to go all in and pretend it's the new dance move. Apparently, it's called the gro <laughs> the groovy musaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the groovy musaka. In no, in no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the groovy musaka all together. Party to remember. You gain too far uh, fun at the cause of that, ah, and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Oh, okay. You're all set to enjoy some sun when all of a sudden the sun disappears. Ah, uh, okay. You don't mind too much. The darkness suits you, but Polly and Vera are pissed. Who extinguished the sun, and why didn't they ask my permission first? You don't own the sun. Yeah, we already have like ten hours of night every night. We don't need eight during the day. Oh yes, please excuse us. Sorry for the inconvenience. What? A solar behemoth is threatening to eat every baby in the world, so we've caused a solar eclipse, you know, in order to defeat it. Excuse? <laughs> it's all very technical and magical. No need to hurt your heads thinking about it. It'll be over soon. Hmm. I'll hurt your heads thinking about it. Free period will be over soon. How will I sunbathe? <sighs> God, you guys are so selfish. This is unacceptable. Move the moon away from the sun this instant, or I'll find someone who can. He's looking right at you when she says that. You realize that if you don't step up, this will turn into a full-scale cat fight. Ooh, cat fight with no cats involved. Oh, right, I forgot it's your turn. <laughs> it's fine. So you roll up your sleeves and... Bribe your con- Okay, I don't have money. I don't- Rip I can't. money! Offer the solar behemoth half of the 12 year olds in the world instead. They're bigger and less cute. You correct. <laughs> you borrow the megaphone from the gym, climb to the roof of the school, and address the solar behemoth. You explain that in terms of sheer poundage, half the 12 year olds in the world will supply 33% more meat than all the babies. The solar behemoth may be an unholy amalgam of sunfire and malevolence. But it's no fool. It sees your point. It goes off to harvest the flesh of tweens. The day is saved! You're right. Well, your stupid problem is solved. Unblock the sun. But they still... Millions will die. Look at this rationality. Irrationally. A 50% decrease over the previous projected death toll is quite significant. And if you amor amortize the projected casualties over the life expectancy of the babies as opposed to the tweens, the life savings are even more significant. I think what Vera is saying is, fuck off and let us sunbathe. Oop. The coven doesn't have a leg to stand on. Well, they have six legs between them, but it's a metaphor. They fuck off and you gain two charm and one smart. Uh, well. Go see if I can get up to nine boldness, so I can pass a boldness at least. Congratulations, you got up to nine boldness. You give zero shits. <laughs> Gotta watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathroom. I'm thinking about what a terrible place the world is and how garbage the people are in it. When suddenly someone appears who is an actual opposite of garbage. Well, hi, Robert. Why are we? Blobber gives you a big squishy blob hug and it's totally amazing. We need a blobbert emote. <laughs> Blobbert's an angel. We need like a blobbert plush. Yes! I want a blobbert plush! They Plushy should sell blob. his hat too, unless it's just a backwards zipper hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, it's just, he's a fan of Gravity Falls. <laughs> he's a big fan. <laughs> Blobber gives you a big squishy blobby hug and it's totally amazing. Oh, 
There's a bit of oh. not awesome situation happening that I think could easily be solved with your help with the right greeting card, of course. There it is. There's the awkward situation. <laughs> well, that was funny. Come on, pretty Gorgon. Four heads are better than one for making out. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you know, because we're like werewolves. How vulgar. What? That's simply absurd. Heavy is the hand that wears the interdimensional crown. Heavy with the potential for aforementioned makeouts. Pathetic. I don't love Blubbert. Good lord. Come on, make up your mind already. Yes, select one of us. Blubbert's face. <laughs> or four of us. Poor confused blobby boy. Oh, howie. <laughs> <laughs> I love Blobby! Blobby boy! God bless Blobby boy! It sure is sexy sometimes to assume that Vera needs to ultimately choose a man at all rather than be complete by herself. Aw, Blobbert, you are the best. Oh, and it's a heteronormative, too. Why don't you come over here and turn my head and ignore me, dick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Anna, I ship you and Blobber. You're both little cutie angels. That hug. We're <laughs> getting the wolf pack, though. That hurt no one. Vile creatures. See, pair of my sweet fair lady. This is why you need a true gentleman like myself to protect you. Let me steal you away. Ugh, stop. You better step in and help Vera out with an oddly specific greeting card, maybe. And the prince, the one that says princes are special, your rules op a absolute. Stop assuming that people are going to be flattered by you kidnapping them. It's really not cute. It's not a- that-, that that's not a haiku. Fold card along dotted line to make paper airplanes. Throw as far as possible. Oh my god. Mm. Is one of the- is this at least bold? <laughs> the first one? Ah, uh, I don't know. These are so vague. I'm gonna do it. Oh! Ah! You did it. How did With I pass four... that? How did you pass that? What? Excuse me? <laughs> is it randomly selected? <laughs> Wait, may maybe the last one- maybe the last- the other one was like, fun or something. So, since it's higher. Maybe. I yeah, because it's throwing a paper airplane. <laughs> Anyone would be lucky to, be lucky to be the victim of my kidnappings. That poem. It was so beautiful, wasn't it? Don't you all just love poetry? I do. I wrote this one about being friends with everyone here at Spooky High School. <laughs> Rainbows and sunshine are really quite grand, but not as grand as all of us being... <laughs> I can't speak. Aww. Rainbows and sunshine are really quite grand, but not as grand as all being friends hand in hand. Robert's voice reminds me of Teddy. Yes. <laughs> that was... Utter elegance. Beautiful! I only wish we had poets of such talent in my dimension. We're not crying, bro. We're j just sweating from our eyes. Blubbert, you're my hero, now and forever. There, uh, Blubbert dates Oh, Vera. golly gee, you guys, it was just a little poem. I have lots of them. Blubbert. Prom is so great, so, so exciting. I wonder who my friends are inviting. <laughs> Freaking Vera just swooshed into the ground. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> the prince and the wolf pack continue to weep openly at the beauty of Blubbert's poetry as Vera quietly slips away. Blobber makes a good point. Who will you be inviting if only you could invite that adorable blob of blobbiness, Blobber? That's a lot of blobbing. Mm, well, anyway, you gain two creativity and one fun. Oh. Change places. Congratulations, you're the protagonist. Me. You have privilege. Oh no, we only, have one, we only have one more day of hanging out with Blobber and also my totem. I demand stats. Puff yourself up, hoping to look as big and tough and sporty as possible as you take your seat next to the wolf pack. Hey, you! 
You know what it means that you took a seat at the wolf pack's table? Well, it probably means that you don't care that much about defining which love interest you're pursuing, and or the table that was already taken. It means you're now one of us! Oh no. I mean, the other wolves do kind of look like Oz's shadows. Yeah. One of us! One of us! One of us! Don't get us wrong, the second lunch is over, we 100% go back to hating you because we're, you're weak and not at our level, bruh. Bruh. But for now, you might as well enjoy living your best werewolf life to the max! Sometimes we like to stick with just classic blanketly hating all, o all other monsters, but other days we like to be aggressively inclusive. And you caught us on an aggressively inclusive day! Yeah, bro! Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna put oh, him no, in a headlock and make him feel funny! <laughs> I've hung out with enough sports kids at school to know how they speak. <laughs> <laughs> so, what classic werewolf activity would you like to do in these brief, glorious moments in which you get to be part of the T E A M E? <laughs> Correcting their spelling of team probably isn't a classic werewolf activity. <laughs> Better go with something more like howling at the moon. Practicing Ikebana, the ancient Japanese are flower arrangements, just super wolfy. Oh my god. Hmm. Do you want to awu or do you want to flowers? I can try to awu. Awu. We love howling at the moon, but flirting with the moon is even better! <laughs> Let's go outside and flirt with the moon right now! <laughs> you head outside where the moon is visible in broad daylight, because why the f not? You kick things off telling the moon that you're sorry to bother her, but you just wanted to say how much you appreciate the way she c controls the tide so gracefully. And the wolf pack steps up and continues in the charming yet respectful tone you said. Hey moon, is there a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants! Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> hey, Moon, are you an astronaut because your ass is out of this world and I can see myself in that, too? Actually, so are you an astronaut with a mirror in your spacesuit? <laughs> Suddenly, a piece of paper wafts down from the sky. It appears to be a letter, and it reads, Dear Wiz, thank you for respecting my boundaries and not using a crude opening line before we've even gotten to know each other. I'm very flattered and appreciative. Thank you again, the Moon. Huh. Guess maybe, guess maybe it's a good idea to be respectful to women and treat them as people, even though when sometimes they're the moon and not people. <laughs> yeah! Being respectful to women is the best! Let's get some pussy by being considerate and respectful! <laughs> <laughs> the most a woo. I need that, like... I need to go back and get that clip. And make it, like, a ringtone. <laughs> My awu is the best awu. <laughs> that was a pretty great awu. That, that was totally by accident, too. And with that, they're off. You hear laughter and look over to see Vera and Polly deep in conversation. A letter from the moon? Classic. Can't believe they <sighs> fell for it. The only thing better than a good prank at someone else's expense is a prank that also teaches valuable lessons and being slightly less douchey. Ah, well, that makes way more sense than the moon actually writing a letter, but you still gain plus four charm for not being disgusting. I imagine when I get a phone, you're gonna like set my text tone to just be a woo. <laughs> yes. Strange. You could have sworn Polly and Damien were at this table when you picked it. Psst. Hey, loser! Down here! It's us, Polly and Damien, hiding under this table for totally innocent reasons. Uh, okay. A fresh roar sounds from the door of the cafeteria. Crazy Martin, the Werebear janitor, is here, and he's looking for someone. It's Jero. Oh shit, he's here. Why is he after us anyway? I think we, I think what we did really falls under federal jurisdiction. International law, more like. These munchkins were Canadian citizens. <laughs> Rip. Ooh, Not Keiko Narkin. and Narkin. <laughs> now that you mention it, I think we might actually have to face a war crimes tribunal. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it though, right? Oh, totally. As long as we can get away from Buzzkill the Bear over there. Dang it, Jero. You can hide in the ghost zone. You know, the special alternative dimension only ghosts can use. Hide behind diplomatic immunity. I mean, you're both princes of hell, right? <laughs> ghosts! But I can't hide in the ghost zone. I'm not a ghost! 
I guess you should have thought of that before you spent all that time being alive. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. Being alive isn't a choice. Whoa, okay, I don't have time to sit here and argue pro-life or pro-choice with you, my dude. <laughs> See you in the ghost zone. No, you won't. <laughs> you can't follow Polly into the ghost zone, but from the way she winks at you before crossing over, it looks like you're one step closer to the bone zone. <laughs> with a friggin' j with a friggin' blob. <laughs> Not blobbert, but like a demon blob. Hopefully, at least. Right, Hopefully, I pass the last thing. Hopefully. Let's see. I mean, both failed once. I'll try to get some last minute creativity so that I have an option of maybe passing Boldus creativity and charm options. Yeah. Anything but fun. Yeah. Or money. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so salty if the only th like two options are fun, money, or smarts related. <laughs> well, I mean, smarts would still win out of it because it's the largest. Mm. Probably. I don't know. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the music themselves is defended, dis defended, descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Yay, blowjobs. The performance is intense and inspiring. Yay, blowjobs. <laughs> That's quite the quote. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I wish I could have quotes in the stream. Uh. Maybe there's always your server. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It'll be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain two creativity. Yay! Ooh. Oh fuck! The Slayer is here. That's never a good sign. Oh, At last, wicked sad? vampire and foul de demon, you are in my clutches now, with no way to escape. Ah! The Slayer is caught up to, uh, with us in a big way. Is this how it ends? Will it be her stake that brings my undeath to a final death? Say your prayers, demon. No. <laughs> Why would I do that? What a noob. You just said it. I'm a demon. Freaking what a noob. <laughs> you know how stupid you sound? Damien, perhaps now is not the time to goad her. Hi, Blobbert! friends! It's me! Blobbert! Oh, Blobbert! Hello there, sweet friend. Unbelievable! Who the hell is this now? Okay, you're dead. You are dead. <gasps> oh, hi, new friend! I'm Blobbert! All monsters must die! I'm not your new friend, I'm a monster slayer, and I will bring death to all monsters! Can I, mur can I murder her? Wowie! <laughs> That's not very nice at all! <laughs> just like, it's like someone going up to you with like a gun to your face. You just look at them. Wowie! Wowie. <laughs> We should all be nice to each other, all sorts of monsters and people who aren't monsters, and everybody! Oh. Quick quiz, do you still have those oddly specific greeting cards? I bet a nice greeting card will help her be nice lady she was meant to be. I'm pretty sure, like, Blobbert's icon is just eternal mood. <laughs> just, mm. Obviously, you step in between the Slayer and your friends when she's, that she's attempting to kill and hand her the greeting card that says... I'm sorry about your missing brother, and understand why you are misdirecting your rage into killing monsters rather than dealing with your issues, but inside this card is the number for a therapist, just in case. Big mood! Oh my god, girl, those boots were made for rockin', keep on, yeah, keep on beautiful. That, that's charm. I have that's to, obviously. because I'll pass it. <laughs> but I really wish I could do the freaking first one. <laughs> but I wanna pass. The, the big mood. Oh, thanks for noticing. These ones give me plus five magic resistance. I bought them in- Oh no, I think I crafted them with the loot I got after killing a ton of lava worms last week. Sweet farming, huh? I like how it, the text is orange like it's an actual stat. Yeah. I actually pride myself on my sense of fashion, but nobody ever seems to notice how fly I look. Probably because I'm always trying to kill them and they're always busy trying to not die. But they could still take the time to notice my haircut and things like that. I noticed your haircut and it is very nice! <laughs> it is beautiful! Your hair, your clothes, your eyes, everything! <laughs> oh, Anna, I know, right? Blobbert's great. Blobbert's a god. Yes! Please don't kill us! 
You might have won this time. I can't kill you. I don't have time now. I'm going to Vera Vera Wang Doodle Fashion Show tonight. Her designs are super chic while also giving you six stat boosts. Actually, I have three passes and no one to give the other two to. Again, because I keep trying to kill everyone. Blubbert, Wiz, would you like to join me? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yippee! Would we ever? You, Blubber, and the Slayer head off to the Vera Wayne Doodle Show and have a great evening together. The Slayer makes it very clear that you caught her in a good mood, and if you see her again, she'll still probably try to kill you. Oh. But you still got to attend a Vera Wayne Doodle Show, so, you know, you're taking home three creativity. Let's go. Fun. Finally, I have some decent stats. You know what? I should I should get, get some smarts. Listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and get dating gimmicks, forget that attending class is supposed to be a primary activity at a <laughs> She looks so school. surprised, like she learned something you very useful. Look, Blobbert's in the background. And off-brand Blobbert. Yeah. <laughs> they said that Blobbert was actually made because he was a background character, but he liked they liked him so much they made him a special character. Good. For a long moment, you, Polly, and Miranda can do nothing but stare at the newly freed Dark Deity. Dude, this is awesome! I can't believe our sweet little kawaii deity is finally here in the universe with us! <laughs> Thanks, Miranda! <laughs> Me either, so like, now what? Yeah, I guess little buddy isn't so little anymore. The dark deity smiles a grin of, eternal of the eternally damned. The paint begins to melt off the walls of the hallway. Windows shatter, sending shards of glass flying dangerously through the air. The ground rumbles and shakes with the force of the 12 of magnitude 12 earthquake, Oof. which is actually farther than the Richter scale goes. Oof. Jesus! <laughs> Yikes. Who knew that unleashing a dark deity from a totem would have consequences? Can I say, except yikes. <laughs> this could definitely spiral out of control. Better do something and fast. FIGHT THE DARK DEITY! Ask the dark deity to prom! You have so have much charm! You immediately drop to one knee and pull out a beautiful bouquet yes! of one so daisies. Oh my god, woo! Squeak! You make your pitch to the Dark Deity, citing all the wonderful times you had together, annoying the coven and sacrifice, making sacrifices, melting faces, and how much it's all meant to you. <laughs> the Dark Deity blushes and cracks creep and cracks creep across the glass of the windows. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me in several millennia of existence. <laughs> Do you really, really feel that way about me? The Dark Deity flutters its eyelashes and birds drop dead from the sky. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You assure Zgord, ruler of the Dark Realm, that yes, your feelings are on. This is amazing! It's, it's been a while since anyone's... I, I need to protect my fragile heart. Aww. Let me let me think about it, okay? Totally okay. Wait, are you are you going to monster prom with your dark deity? Could it be? You've gained a prom date, but you definitely gained two boldness and one charm. <laughs> Time to go alone. None of them. And hope that Blobbert is there. Bluebird. Alright. Bluebear. Okay, I'm gonna choose none of them. And then I need to go run and get my computer charge. Run, Gake, run! Ah! <laughs> yes! You ask nobody to prom because the truth is you've been spending a lot of more time with Blobbert lately! Blobbert! <laughs> I'm back! Blobby boy! Blobby boy! <laughs> Prom? Where are we? Yes, Blobbert is in! Woo! It'll be a very nice evening together! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> that's like a look at that! Look at that friend. little bow! That's literally all he's wearing, but that's good! And indeed, it is a very nice evening! It's so, it's so, it's so uh, cute. It's so cute. You spend the night solving most of your classmates' shenanigans by being nice and discussing your favorite very specific greeting cards. What a very wowie night! 
Oh my god. It's a, it is indeed a very wowie night. It's so night. fun being nice. <laughs> you ask nobody to prom because your heart now belongs to an ancient dark deity! Yes! Last time, Zagor told you it was thinking about your proposal. You decide to go to prom and wait for it to appear. You believe from the bottom of your heart that your feelings are mutual after everything you've lived through together. And you're right! <laughs> You have the cutest and nicest date together. You even hold hands, or whatever Gord has for hands, anyways. In a moment of vulnerability, Gord, ruler of the Dark Realm, shares his deepest thoughts with you. You know, I've been told for millennia that I was meant to be a dark deity whose only purpose was bringing this re this reality to its undoing. But I've realized I don't need to be who I have been told to be. I've had more fun these days with you than I've had in the many millennia plotting this realm's demise. <laughs> I think being a dark deity is not in my true nature. No, it might really be a high school girl. <gasps> the dark deity shapeshifts into a purple tentacled girl. Say goodbye to the <gasps> door, the ruler of the dark realms. From now on, you can call me Zo. Oh my god! So that's I who that it. is! That's who that is! I've been wondering, because I have always liked her design. I've been wondering who she was. And now I, I know just wanted it's to get Oh my god, there she is! Oh my god! <laughs> That's such a reveal to me! <laughs> Surprise! Zo is the cutest! <laughs> Zo is good grill. Zo, best girl, blobber, best boy. Bobby boy. Those three weeks are maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. I can't believe that's how you get Tentacle Girl. <laughs> you freaking you have to unleash a dark deity under the world and freaking almost die twelve and times. And romance so. the heck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I Aww. did. I'm glad that wasn't spoiled for me. Like whoop, I didn't whoop. see it like online on like Twitter or something. Goodness. I just wanted to get the, the ending with the Dark Deity, because last time I did it, I failed. <laughs> Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we were and who we could be. You know what? As it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Scott unexpectedly ended up in film school and partnered with Vera to co-create their own TV show. <laughs> nice! It was bought by Notflix, since Notflix is now airing anything, even a crazy TV show co-created by recently graduated high schoolers. We actually got the same thing for that. Polly's drug cooking skills proved to be useful, and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. Yet, on her free time, she still cooks drugs. Her greatest invention Did... so far, watermelon-flavored ecstasy and a thing called Ella's Dope. I love Ella's Dope. <laughs> Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair, and he ended up in prison for arson. Fortunately, prison was flammable. Leon kept doing art so hard that he eventually evaporated and became the concept of coolness itself. While leaving the physical plane, the last thing Liam did was give everyone a condescending look. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. Battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in the war called you. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Da, 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 oh, da, I'm so da. happy. <gasps> what, what possibly could our ending thing be? Our ending Polaroid? I don't know. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'll send you the one of of Blobbert because we get each other's. Yes. And I'll look at the stream for for the one with Zo. Oh my god! I hope there's a cute Zo picture. If so, I'm gonna have to redo that. I'm so happy that went really successfully. <laughs> it did. I'm surprised that we actually both got the endings. Yeah. Freaking blobby boy and blobby. and tentacles. Not in the weird way. <laughs> tentacles. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> I like how before the gallery opened, Jero was screenshotting all the Polaroids he got.
No, he doesn't need to anymore. <laughs> Indeed. Aw, it's just oh, the logo. Aw, oh, sad days. They were like, you didn't get with any, but... But images, Unlock though. three new images at the gallery. I have nine! Right Jesus. Nine. Well, to be fair... To be fair, remember that I've played this for, like, quite, yeah. quite a while. Oh, shoot. It started, a, it started a game accidentally. Oh, no. Oh, no! Uh, uh, close the game and then reopen it. That'll solve my issue. I mean, I'm gonna have to go after I check out the gallery. Oh, cause... I got Blobbert's art. Oh, uh, Blobbert. Look at, look at the friggin', look at the Zoe, but not school go form and friggin' blob of death and destruction form. What is this? Oh, good Blobbert. <clears throat> yeah, okay. That's a thing. Hold on, I'll, I'll see you when it comes up. Oh yeah, that! The... The... very mock-up. Blah 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 How come I didn't unlock Art of Zoe though? Like, there's like a blobber here, but there's no tentacle girl. Sad day. I'm so happy about knowing that now though. Conglomeration. I need to tell Jero to that he needs to do that route, but not tell him the spoiler. Because I know he likes Tentacle Girl. <laughs> Wait a sec. Oh wow, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, go to go to Blobbert's more art thing. Uh huh. Click the variation. He can wear the t narrator hat. <gasps> I'm gonna find. Uh, uh, come back. Ah, there we go. Variation. It'll, oh! change, it'll change his emotion, and then he can wear the the narrator hat. Blobbert's oh! <laughs> so a precious boy. He needs to be saved. Oh my god. <laughs> Blobbert is a precious boy. I need to save these screenshots really quick. I wonder what happens when he wears the, like, how, how can you get him to wear the narrator hat? Okay, now I'm doing that for all the characters. Damien can friggin' wear, um, Slayer's outfit. Okay. I simply need to... Oh, wait, was that for the Halloween event? Oh. Because I'm looking through all the things and I'm seeing the Halloween costumes because I saw Liam's. So that must have been the Halloween outfit, which is really funny. I'm saving these screenshots. Miranda's Halloween outfit is the freaking, freaking interdimensional. Oh yeah, I remember that actually. I saw that on Twitter. Miranda being the interdimensional prince. I'm just skimming through all of these now. I need to do that. <laughs> Polly is coach. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> if you look on this on static server, because I have it sitting up on a picture of Blobbert, it shows a picture of Blobbert in the live streaming channel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I, uh, I don't see it as a picture of Blobbert. I screenshot it, I'm gonna send it to you. It's freaking great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Blobbert. <laughs> it's freaking fantastic.
Uh, I love it. it. It's amazing. Too good. <laughs> Wait, okay, you have to see the interdimensional princess of the Halloween variation. Oh, okay. You know, freaking the flame girl that you can play as and Damien look really good together. Makes sense, they're both fiery hell creatures. I could see them being together, like, easily. Okay, so, interdimensional space friend. Also, it makes sense you don't get art of Zoe, because <laughs> you you never actually talk to Zoe. So there's no variations with the, with the art that shows up, because yeah. there is no art that shows up. Yeah. Okay, uh, where is an old space princess? There's so many Polaroids still on that. Indeed. Well, it makes sense, because there's like a separate one for each character, plus all of the characters you can date. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, I need to- I'm gonna screenshot him winking with it. <laughs> Send it to Joe! <laughs> yes! Oh, there's a cute hunter! Or slayer, words. Wearing Polly's outfit. Yeah, that's that's great. And also, if you go to the coven and switch to their outfit, they switch places with Miranda, Polly, and Vera. My goodness. And freaking Scott, for some reason, is covered in honey. Oh and my is also goodness. Not wear and is also not wearing any clothes. Super vampire Liam, though. That's what I like to call Edge Lord Liam. Yes. Freaking Halloween Blubbert though. Freaking narr Blubbert is the narrator. You have to read every single line in of for like in the the narrator in Blubbert's voice. Boys. There's wowie. Miranda's too good. Miranda's too good for this earth. Can't, we can just can't do it anymore. Oh my god. Polly freaking his costume does the gym teacher, coach or whatever. Yeah. Oh coach. my god. I, I still wish there was a freaking Polaroid for Blobbert. Me too. Oh my god! What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Forget like Scott, what are you doing with your life? What did you do, Scott? What did you do to the good boy? <laughs> the, good, the good boy has is now like freaking like drug addict. It just kinda happened. Don't ask. What did He hugged Blobbert a little bit too hard. Yeah. And stole his hat. His dipper hat. How dare. <laughs> it would've been funnier if he had the narrator hat. <laughs> that would've been great, actually. Real question, though. Why did nobody go with Zo? Yeah. Real question. I still haven't been rejected by two people. Vera as the shop owner, though. Makes sense. The it sisters. Does. What is the coach dress? Oh my god. Coach dresses up as freaking Scott. <laughs> uh, it's too good. <laughs> Look at the picture of Blobbert. The coven, though. Neato. Ow, my, f my heel is starting to sting again. Not good. I'm gonna die. Ah! Wah. 
if I looked at everything I can possibly look at now. You need to just stare at Blubbered for like an hour. Stare at That'll be the rest of the stream. Sexy Miranda. I don't want yeah, that showing up on <laughs> static server though. Yeah, don't don't do that. Um, <laughs> that would be very bad. Forget Oh wait, oh you don't have the you don't have that sketch yet. Oh no. Oh there, I have like three sketches of like secret ending concepts. And one of them is the freaking um the Liam Yowie ending. Is great. I need to get that ending. I was so close to getting it before, but then I failed at the last choice, which made me sad. Sad Keiko days. Ah, uh, said he can't juice now. Oh, juice, juice. I'll go hit up the. Uh. There we go. Thing, you know the thing. And. Guessing. You know what I have to say to that? <laughs> Wowie! <laughs> Wowie! <laughs> Princess is gonna like peek out and be like, is, is it over? <laughs> moment so I can switch over the settings. Okay. And also I'm upload gonna... them separately on YouTube later. <laughs> I'm gonna probably get ready to sleep. Okay. But friggin... Take care of your foot. <laughs> I'll try. Hopefully it doesn't like explode. You wake up and you're just kinda like drenched in your own blood. Like oh. Uh this is bad. I'll just end the stream on drenched on your own blood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>